I'm going to show you today how to install radiator grills from the radiator grill store on a 991 GTS. It's a 991.1 and these are new from them and they come already with the uh, zip ties in the correct location for um, attaching them to the louvers, which I'll show you how to do in a moment. Um, first step is the reason why you're doing these is because of the lovely items that get stuck inside there and a bunch of junk and things you don't want going in. We already did this side. I'll just show you how that would look after the fact. Look really good, went in really easy. Much easier than other brands that make you take off a whole bumper. So the grill, something you wanna uh, be cognizant of is which direction you're becoming in because what you're doing is you don't have to take any of this off not the louvers anything this is going to be going in from the bottom louver here um, if you really cared about not scratching anything you'd probably put some tape here but i've got so much road rash there that i'm not too worried about it but you want to make sure though that you're putting there's this cut out here which helps clear this area right here because this does cover these side grills um, you want to make sure that the zip ties are facing out towards you so that you can attach them in here and they do actually place them in an area to where they actually are easy to hide which you'll see in just a second so you'll want to make sure because you're coming in this way and then tilting it up inside and then pulling it in and we'll show that in just a second these right here, just a really cheap needle nose pliers that I had, are really essential to this and makes it so easy to kind of move things around and as we'll see just a moment. This might look bad, but I'm not really even touching the paint right now. And the way that's gonna go in there is it goes up in and then that is all. And then the best way to Get that whole way in there, then reach in here, and then just pull this towards you. And the zip ties work really well just for also helping guide in the right direction too. It will get caught on little things here and there, but inside, because you can't really see, but pretty easy. And that really is it for positioning. And what I was talking about with these is you can really just kind of come in here and grab and then pull forward so you can get to the zip ties. The zip ties, if you grab both of them, you can pull them up. But as you can see right now, the grill is not, it's hard to tell, but it isn't right up against. It's not as forward as it can be. And the reason for that is, see that tab right there in the center at the top? It will get caught on that. So if I'm over here trying to pull this over, it gets stuck right there because it can't move anymore there. So all you gotta do is reach up, kind of push that grill back a little bit, and you can push up on that tab. It's a little difficult to do while holding the camera. And then, here we go, take need a nose pliers or something to kind of help pull that forward and there you go we just cleared that tab it's up and in the back so now whenever we pull the zip tie now it will come all the way up against here and again this is where these are really nice to have it's just making sure you pull this up and it's not getting caught on anything. So now they're nice and smooth right up against um, the inside of this. They won't come all the way up to the louvers because the louvers are kind of uh, come forward a little bit more, but that's about as far up as it will get. And when you tighten these up, don't tighten them so much that you can't move them because what you want is this head of that zip tie underneath there so it's out of the way and you don't see it. And what you can do too, is get the pliers. 
reach in here and kind of help feed that zip tie forward a bit so you can hide the head of the zip tie. If I can see it again here. And it will feed that to where then you can cut it. There we go, now we can't really see it. And I'm just going to use whatever I can to, to reach in here and then we'll cut these. So now we're gonna, we've got both of these here installed, um, these zip ties and kind of angled back. I'll do a little better job on that one later. But then you can go to the other side here and these actually are placed just in the right spot to where you're not coming across this larger section. You're coming across over here on the side where it hides a little easier. So you pull those in. You can see they kind of hide right on the, the edge here is where they will come in. And I'm gonna do both of those. And then again, those needle nose kind of help you pull this forward. And remember, keep in mind that tab up on top, which this one's clearing. On this side, there's nothing there really for it. Um, it's very solid though, how it is. You can see the little cutout right here that uh, leaves a little bit of space there, but I don't see how else you could really fit this through here because there is a little ridge without that indentation being there. So it works out really well. It's quite clever on how they design this to where you don't have to take this whole bumper off since these lures do not come off on their own. And that is it. As you can see, this is all done on this side that we just did. These are kind of just sitting around this area to where you really, as you pull away, cannot tell or see those at all. And we got both sides here. Which look great. Nice and, I mean, really easy. This took maybe 30 minutes in all, and I'm the first person to really kind of try this, I think, on video, but went really well. So, great product, great price. I'm um, looking forward to it. I know they gotta be working on a center grill, I think, too, because this is a PDK car. So, that's something that I will need to get done, too. But thank you very much.